Hey everybody and welcome back to CATS. C-A-T-S. That's right, Contemporary Art Talk Show. Today... Today we're going to talk about the work of two male artists and one female artist. Trying to bring in a little diversity, at least in gender, if not in race. I don't know what these races are. Do you know what the races are? Nope. I'm not I'm completely unaware. Okay. That that really shouldn't weigh into the contemporary art discussion anyway. It should a little bit. Maybe a lot of it. Okay. okay. Pour yourself a frosty uh, alcoholic or non-alcoholic beverage. Fasten your seatbelts and try and pick up what we're about to lay down. Up first is Tom Sachs with a sculpture that clearly addresses post-consumer culture. Ugh. Now, what this actually addresses, I honestly believe, is uh, the French Revolution. You've got guillotine, you've got Chanel, and it's a breakfast table. What? How much more French can you get? It's in, pretty French. It's Sachs. Is, is that a French name? Sachs? Um, that sounds more English. But it's called guillotine, and then in parentheses, no, yeah, the parentheses, it says breakfast nook. So you can see that there are uh, little stools on either side of the guillotine table. So, I don't know, it's... This also says 1998 to me. This is from 1998, actually. It says 1998 yeah. to me. Kind of the ad busters down with, you know... Yeah, 1998, you might remember, I think, um, Bill Clinton was president, and there was a lot of talk about... Clinton was president the no, it might have been Bush. Yeah. It might have been Bush. And so there were a lot of uh, tax cuts for the wealthy corporations. Tom Sachs probably clearly responded to that. Post-consumer culture, um, um, the death of the working class. You know, the working class went away, was kind of killed. We can't even afford Chanel if we wanted to. So I'm sure he's tying that in. It's like, and there is no future. And that's why it's painted, you know, it's painted black. It's very morbid. Um, the the blade is, is hanging above. It's doom. You know, we're all doomed, basically. Okay, so if we're going to gauge this on um, if I like it or not, I like the fact that it was really well crafted. It is extremely well crafted. Don't care well about the message. But I like the fact that it ties into capital punishment issues, uh, corporate greed, and post consumer uh, culture. Well, Two thumbs up. Good for that guy. Moving along, I have to use my cheat sheet because uh, I can't quite pronounce this woman's name. It's Margot W O L O. W I E C. So W O L O W I E C. Margot Wol Wolwick. Um, this is called Warning Signs from 2015. It's hand woven polyester cotton linen dye sublimationing fabric dye, 70 inches by 50 inches. And it looks like just an inkjet printing. In fact, whenever Chris first showed me this, that's what I thought it was. Then my mind was blown because he says this was uh, woven. Yeah, this is actually created on a loom. So. Uh, it's a process by which you uh, slay the reed to get the different thread um, through the loom, and then you run something called a shuttlecock back and forth and pull these levers to um, create the pattern. So I don't know how it was made with um, creating this awesome pattern, but it, it almost looks like a blurry photograph. I also like the image itself because I can't quite tell what it was. I thought it at first was uh, fingernails on lips, and Chris is saying no, it's just fingers and... That's the only downside. I think I think whatever photo she used, might she probably could have used a better quality. It looks like she might have used an iPhone 4S or something. And I would have used an iPhone 6 Plus S um, to get a better quality before you go through all this hassle of uh, of weaving it. But overall, I would I give it two um, thumbs up. Two painted thumbnail fingers up yep. for this one. This one's for good. Margot Wol Wolwick. And last up, we have a painting. It looks like a watercolor painting. I contacted the artist to find out if it was watercolor for sure or if there was a title. I didn't hear back. Um, it kind of also looks like maybe just uh, colored pencils. Right. This it's is shading really well. Charlie Roberts. I should have written this down. He's from somewhere in the Midwest. I want to say Kansas, but I could be wrong. And currently resides in Oslo, Norway. Uh, I like this he one. He shows his work at Richard Heller Gallery. One thing in that Santa I would Monica, say that's California. neat about this is this guy is having sex in a Volkswagen. No one. Has sex it's a Porsche. in a Volkswagen. It's a Porsche. Looks like a Volkswagen Beetle. No, he. Ha I think he even hashtagged um, Volkswagen Beetle Porsche when he posted Beetle. on his Instagram. Well, Porsche and Volkswagen. His Instagram I think is the same company. Colonel Catfish. Uh, I I like this because I like the sports cars. The elf is in a little weird proportion. Right. The legs and uh, right. uh, arms are too long. 
don't know why it. What I don't like be anything apart with this is the Holocaust, Nazis, bug. and Germany, and what Porsche uh, kind of stands for. I don't like that. But if I if I am able to divorce myself from that post consumer uh, Nazi culture, then I actually embrace this. Yeah. The the other problem I have is the troll's arms are slightly elongated, so it makes it. It kind of decreases the believability a bit. Why? Hey, hey buddy. Are... I like this one. I yeah, I like this one a lot. I actually. like it. I like it. I like the um, atmospheric perspective that's created when you add. Oh my god! Um, no, but seriously, when you add white to the pigment, um, with each layer going backwards, it pushes it back into the distance, which creates um, atmospheric perspective. So I give no this one Chris. two elongated green thumbs up for Charlie Roberts. I don't know the title or the date or the media, but I like it. Me too. Two likes and a uh, unlike or dislike. Three enthusiastic. Two severed thumbs um, for Tom Sachs. Yeah. Two, two painted fingernail thumbs. thumbs up for Margo Woolweek. And two elongated green pigmented skin for Charlie Roberts. I'm agree. I'll agree. That's our episode. Thanks for watching Cat's Contemporary Talk Show, and tune in for more episodes later.